Good morning. We are sitting in the car waiting for our passenger. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Hope everybody's having a great day today. If not, just tell yourself, I'm having a great day, and you will have a better day. I don't promise that, but I really hope that. All right, it's a fun day so far. The network is down, so our computer's not working. So we're just kind of just killing time today. Uh, that's pretty much it. All right, well, the networks are down, and there's not much to do, so I'm taking a walk. I'm gonna walk to Old Sack, and I'm gonna do some Christmas shopping. Might as well take advantage of this uh, downtime. So I can't really do a whole lot of work. Whew. I feel like I'm out of shape because I've just been walking and I'm feeling like I've been walking forever. And I feel like I'm starting to sweat. Hmm. I, I just realized the shirt was a v-neck. I don't usually see that because I got a big old beard in front of it. trip through Evangelines and I got a nice set of baby hands. Baby hands. I love these things. Why, but they installed some popping ass lights in this tunnel. It's kind of cool, man. If only it was uh, kind of gross down here, it'd be kind of cool. So, this is the tunnel in between Old Sack and Downtown Sack. And it's pretty cool because they have murals on both sides. And I think they represent different, um, different areas of the state. And the reason I think this is because. Our state, our, our county is represented uh, right there. That lady is supposed to be the Buttes, the Yuba Sutter Buttes. And because uh, it looks like a pregnant lady, and so it's a, it's a long thing. There's a guy playing an accordion over there, so that's pretty cool. You know, it's kind of a neat little tunnel, but sometimes you feel like it's shady because you gotta walk through it, and there's like people like lingering, and it's like, oh, what's going on here? I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know what he does. Just makes cool futuristic robot noises. Well, it looks like I'm taking a detour today. Uh, how you doing, man? Looks like some lady uh, was jamming down in her wheelchair. Uh, psh, ugh down the hill and got smacked by a truck. Ouch. I'm assuming it was a, I'm assuming it was maybe a, more of a homeless lady than not. Oh shit, do I have to take a huge detour? <sighs> uh, man, everything's blocked off. Oh, it's not too bad, okay, I think I'm good. Anyway. Kind of crazy. I feel bad for the lady. Hopefully she's okay. So I just heard that there might have been a lady that just had a heart attack, but I think there was too many police and too much stuff going on for someone to just die of a heart attack. But I'm pretty sure she died. I'm pretty sure it was a woman. Uh, so that's what I gathered off my walk through everything. Oh, you know what else was exciting? is I saw a family walking with like a little kid who was like two or three and he had like a little skateboard and he was crying because he wanted to ride a skateboard and he was tiny man he wasn't a big two or three he was a tiny two or three and he's like kind of crying he wants to ride a skateboard and the mom just turns around and looks at him and is like shut the fuck up I'm thinking like holy fuck and it was like right as I was walking by them so I had to like not make eye contact with anybody like 
yeah, yeah, kid, fuck you, man. No, but it was just, <laughs> it's interesting the different parenting styles that people have. I don't think I would have chosen that way of handling the situation. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, because I'll get mad at stupid shit just like that. But I don't think I would turn to my three-year-old and say, shut the fuck up. Seems a little harsh. A little bit. So as we are sitting here waiting for our um, carpool buddy to get here, I just thought I'd share that I think I'm going to update the format of my vlog starting January 1st. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. I hope so. I'm trying to have more of a format for it so it's kind of a consistent thing every day. I'm going to have like a word of the day based on the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, which might be fun or might not be fun. Because I, I like, I, I, I have that word of the day and I love it. Um, I'm going to do like a monthly challenge, which might be like physical fitness stuff or food or skills, you know, or something obscure. I don't know, maybe something way different. So we can like follow along with that. I want to try to do like a little monthly giveaway, I think. I'm really hoping that for next year, I'll have a nice, good, solid format, a solid posting schedule. Po oh, it'll be positive. That's what I forgot. I'm trying to keep it very positive, trying to keep it very um, upbeat and motivational. You know, motivational quotes, maybe, because I love motiv- ah, damn, I got a hiccup. I love motivational quotes. Well, it is 7.06, and I have been in this car for three freaking hours, just between dropping Shiloh off, and then um, I did run inside the house and I went pee, but then I had to drop then I had to drop Bella off and pick up Shiloh, then drop the, the Lily and her friend off at church, and now we're at Del Taco, and then I'm gonna get home and I don't have to go back and pick up Lily and her friend. So I am just living in this car tonight, which is fine. Every now and then you need to live in your car. I'm drinking some beer out of my new beer stein, so I'm kind of excited about that. Let's see how this goes. You're about to witness the first sip, so. Congratulations. Mm. It was all foam. That's gross. All right. So do you ever feel stupid? Because I do. And today I feel stupid because I have lived at this house for over 10 years. And I just learned something. Um, I learned that the front, so we have a porch, and it's got like a deck that wraps around from the front of the house to the back of the house. <clears throat> and it's, it's like a covered porch, so there's lights that are in the ceiling. And I just learned just tonight that the switches for the front porch light and the back porch light are the same. So if you shut the back porch light off, the front one also goes off. I did not know that. I just learned that just now. Part of that could be because usually we don't have light bulbs in the lights. But still, I feel like over the last 10 or so years, I should have figured that out. So my mind is still like... Anyway, that's it. I'm about, I'm about to get started on some video editing. 